I'm not going on my vacation. Major Nelson's not going on his vacation. We're going to do these tests, and that's final. Oh, morning. Good morning. I'm ready to go to work. Yes, I see you are. Well, it takes about six weeks to get through all this stuff. Huh? Yes. You're so happy about me, Joe. Oh, uh, good music always does that to me, sir. Oh. I just heard a new singing group. <laughs> Fantastic. This new singing group? Yes, sir. Uh, Tommy Boyce and Bobby Hart. That's really great. Now, shall we go to work with uh, this? You mean they're here? Yes. In Cocoa Beach? <laughs> yes. Oh, there's the new inversion uh, chart I've been looking for. I knew you had that in here, sir. Um, are they available? Who? The single. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I imagine so. Uh, you see the PCA. Uh, Major, will you stop changing the subject? Well, I thought this was the subject, sir. Uh, where can I get hold of them? Uh, I believe they're on their way over to your house. Now, you don't think Dr. Bellows is going to let you go on vacation, do you? Yeah, I know he is. Well, he's not, because I talked to him. He's got experiments worked out that's going to take about the next 50 years. No, I'm leaving in the morning. Oh, no, you're not. No, yeah. you're not. Oh, you, you want to bet? You want to bet? How about $100? No, I don't want your money. I really Come don't. Come on, $100 says you're I'll not. bet you a dollar. $100. Five. $100. Roger, $100. $100, you're on. No, wait a minute. $100, $100 you're on. Oh, but there you are, Major Nelson. Oh, you've been looking for me, sir? I've been thinking things over. You've been working terribly hard, but uh, that's what we're here for, sir. I realize that it's been three years since you've had a vacation, but... That's quite all right, sir. I'm prepared to go ahead with the test. No, Major. I won't let you make that sacrifice. It so happens, I'm taking a little vacation myself, starting tomorrow morning. <laughs> so, you can take your vacation as well. Oh, well, that's different. Of course, that's, that's quite different. <laughs> you can start leaving tomorrow morning. Have a good time. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> You're, uh, you're not going to take the money, are you? <laughs> you wouldn't take it, but you would, because it was just, you said five, and I said uh, 100, but you said one. You're not going to take it all. <laughs> are you trying to tell me, Jeannie, that uh, I'm going to have to cancel my vacation because of those four, uh, uh, four, what, what's their names? The Voice and Heart Group. Yeah, you telling me that? Oh, yes, Master, they need me. Yeah. Is it not strange? They were not even interested in show business until the bazaar. <laughs> Jeannie, music is very well in its place. It's great. And when we come back from our vacation, you oh, can no, listen to no, the rest. Oh, no, no, Master. We you must strike any... while the iron is hot. <laughs> Where'd you hear that? Aristotle said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, know, you know how you worry about me? <laughs> yes, Master. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have reason to. <laughs> Jeannie, I've been looking forward to this vacation for a long time. Going to the great outdoors, under the stars, under the trees, with maybe a fire in front of the tent, and a tinkling little stream in the distance. I need a rest. R-E-S-T. Yes, Master. Yes. Major Nelson, I hope we're not disturbing no, you. No, it's my fault anyway, Major. I insisted that we come by and thank you personally. Yes. Come in. Thank you. Uh, you're camping in your living room. <laughs> it's sort of rehearsals. With trees and a babbling brook. <laughs> I wanted to get the feel of it. I think it's marvelous. Oh, Alfred, why do we ever do something like this? Amanda, I spend half my life curing people who do things like this. <laughs> I see you even have a fire going. Yes, I've got chili in here. <laughs> I think we'll be running along. Oh, yes, but Major, listen, I want to thank you again. You don't know what that group did for me. I can't tell you what they did for me. I wouldn't wait until tomorrow to go on your vacation if I were you. 
I'd leave now. 